Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y dominates Chinese reliability survey. Tesla's home HVAC with HEPA filters is still on the table, says Elon Musk. Tesla 4680 battery cell production tripled in Q3 2022. And, Tesla software update 2022.40.1, improves sentry mode, dog mode, charging efficiency and more. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. An EV reliability survey completed in China has listed the Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 as two of the most reliable electric vehicles on the Chinese market. The survey, completed by 12365 Auto, a Chinese automotive quality and reliability website, found that the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 were some of the most reliable vehicles in their survey. The survey included nearly 40 different models from countless manufacturers and used the metric of owner complaints per 10,000 vehicles. While Tesla has long battled the stereotype of poor build quality in the United States, they have earned a reputation for solid build quality in China, especially compared to other options. Of the 39 models listed in the survey results, the Tesla Model Y came in last, depicting least number of complaints, while the Tesla Model 3 was only three places higher, depicting slightly more complaints. According to the data posted by Moneyball R on Twitter, the survey found an average number of complaints per 10,000 units of 19.2 for electric vehicles, while the Tesla Model Y had the lowest survey score of 2.2. The Tesla Model 3 wasn't far behind, scoring 2.7 complaints per 10,000 units. Looking to the top of the list, the vehicles with the most complaints, models from Chinese brands such as BYD, Lixiang, and Sherry, were ever present. The cars with the most complaints were the Lixiang one, followed by the BYD Han and BYD Dolphin. Other surprising models found within the top half of the survey results included the Volkswagen ID4X, the Buick Velite 6, and the ever-popular Sherry EQ1. Besides the Tesla Model Y and Model 3, the Wuling Hongyuang Mini EV and the Neo ES6 performed admirably. While Tesla products certainly have flaws, this sparks the question, are all of these numerous Chinese options just terribly made, allowing the Tesla products to shine? Or, are Tesla products built in China for the Chinese market just that much better built than those sent abroad? In all likelihood, these younger Chinese brands struggle with build quality and reliability issues, indicating that Tesla won't be winning any initial quality awards in Western markets anytime soon. However, this survey does point in a positive direction. Hopefully, Tesla can take advantage of the wave of demand for their products and begin to offer higher build quality with this recent influx of cash. Moving to the next update, Tesla's home HVAC with HEPA filters is still on the table, says Elon Musk. Tesla may have its hands full with its current product lineup, but Elon Musk seems intent on having the company eventually enter the home HVAC industry. In a recent post on Twitter, Musk reiterated Tesla's plans to eventually release a home HVAC system with a HEPA filter, which should provide clean air to an entire home. While responding to a Twitter account that posted one of his previous comments about Tesla's home HVAC system, Musk assured that the product will happen. Musk's recent post reflected his comments about the product this past July when he noted that the home HVAC system is on Tesla's future product list. The Tesla CEO has previously noted that a home HVAC system is especially important in places like Austin, which has next-level amounts of pollen in the air. Such a product would be extremely appreciated in other countries as well, such as China, India, and the Philippines, as some of their cities are suffering from serious air pollution. While Tesla's home HVAC system may seem like an out-of-place product, when compared to the company's current offerings, the EV maker does have some experience in designing and rolling out efficient air filtration systems. The Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model Y, for example, are equipped with a bioweapon defense mode that uses a large HEPA filter to ensure that passengers are able to breathe clean air in the cabin. 
Numerous Tesla owners over the years have expressed their appreciation for the otherwise unique feature. During the Sandalwood fire in California back in 2019, for example, several Tesla owners shared their experiences on Twitter, noting that bioweapon defense mode has become a lifesaver in areas that were affected by the fire. Tesla's bioweapon defense mode has been featured in some of the company's marketing videos. This past January, for example, Tesla released a video on its YouTube channel showing a Model Y's bioweapon defense mode, successfully taking on several smoke bombs inside a large bubble. With this in mind, if Tesla can pull off the same technology for a home HVAC system, the company could become a surprising leader in the HVAC industry. Moving to the next update, Tesla 4680 battery cell production tripled in Q3 2022. Tesla installs second-generation equipment to produce new batteries and triples its production of 4680 battery cells quarter over quarter. Output is growing so fast that it will soon become a significant part of Giga Texas production. Tesla's production of 4680 battery cells is one of the most interesting topics because the future growth of the company depends on it. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Tesla executives shared the progress of the work in this direction, and the news was very good. Production of the new 4680 cells is finally gaining momentum, according to the release, and tripled in the third quarter, compared to the previous quarter. Elon Musk said, output is growing rapidly and will become a significant part of Giga Texas vehicle production in the coming months. Our production of 4680 cells has tripled in Q3, compared to the previous quarter. We are finally gaining rapid traction on the 4680 cell. And its output is growing rapidly, and we expect it to start incorporating in cars and having it be a significant portion of our production here in Texas in the coming months," Musk said. Musk also revealed that the company has second-generation manufacturing facilities for 4680 battery cells. The result of work on it continues to show great progress, along with Tesla's original pilot line at Fremont. He said, the Fremont factory team again reached record levels of production in the third quarter and intends to continue increasing production there. Zachary Kirkhorn also added that the total production of 4680 batteries in Q4 will exceed 1,000 car battery packs per week. The team's focus is now shifting from a 100% production ramp-up to cost reduction and further expansion of North American production capacity. Moving to the last update, Tesla Software Update 2022.40.1 improves sentry mode, dog mode, charging efficiency and more. Tesla has released a new software update, 2022.40.1, that delivers improved charging efficiency for faster charge time and reduced energy costs, along with a few other goodies. Some Tesla owners are waking up to a new software update, bringing new features and capabilities to their vehicles. All Tesla vehicles built over the last 10 years are equipped with over-the-air software capability, and the automaker has taken full advantage of that capability with regular software updates. Those software updates sometimes bring new games and fun features as part of Tesla's mission to make the Tesla ownership experience as exciting as possible, but sometimes they also bring new capabilities and even more efficiency to the powertrain. This new software update being pushed to the Tesla fleet right now fits into both categories. Not a Tesla app posted the release notes showing the biggest part of the 2022.40.1 software update is improved charging efficiency. Tesla wrote the following in the release notes. During DC fast charging, the thermal system controls have been optimized for each charging station's power capability, improving both charging and on-route battery preconditioning efficiency. This results in fast charge time and reduced energy costs. It sounds like Tesla has found a way to deliver faster charge times and more efficiency through software. The update also includes a bunch of smaller new features, including some kind of a combination of Tesla's existing dog mode and sentry mode. Dog mode is intended to keep your dog safe inside the vehicle alone by maintaining climate control and showing a message on the screen that the dog is not in danger. 
As for sentry mode, it is a surveillance feature that uses autopilot cameras all around the vehicle to detect people approaching the vehicle and either start an alarm or record any event. Tesla wrote the following about the new feature, leveraging these modes in the release notes. Your vehicle and pets can be kept safe by activating dog mode and sentry mode at the same time. Sentry mode alarms are silenced if dog mode and sentry mode are both enabled. Mobile app notifications will still be sent and video footage will still be saved. Tesla is also releasing a new driver door unlock mode. Tesla wrote the following. When driver door unlock mode is enabled, long pressing the interior driver door switch will unlock all doors and the trunk. To access driver door unlock mode, tap controls, lock, driver door unlock mode. And finally, Tesla is also adding radio station logos to the media players. Tesla wrote the following. The media player now displays radio station logos for improved discoverability when searching for favorite stations. As usual, Tesla's update can take time before it reaches all vehicles in the fleet. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.